California and New York both are saying yes to sports coming back without fans, but it is way sooner than anybody anticipated. And I have to wonder if some of this had to do with these colleges and these universities saying, whoa, 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 whoa. You can't, you can't do this. And, and you know, NFL, to, I'm, I'm thinking they're getting pressure from everywhere. No, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you one guy picked up the phone. Who's that? One guy. That's Roger Goodell. You think so? Yep. He said, look, we ain't going to have this shit. Because like, California has three teams and um, New York has one, and New two, York three. Has three, quote unquote, even two of them live in play in New Jersey, but they're based out of New York. Yeah. I, I'm I'm going to tell you, I think the NFL swings the biggest dick out of any business in town in these states. Yeah, I could believe that. Because if those teams decided to pack their stuff and move to Florida, what they would see is other businesses say, huh, the NFL packed up and left. Maybe we should too. And all, I mean, Elon Musk threatened to do it with Tesla last week. I, I, what little manufacturing and businesses that are done in California could be could be gone pretty quickly, and in New York the same thing. I, I think it was just peer pressure, and I think the biggest dog in town said, "We're not doing this." Uh, California is home to no fewer than eighteen franchises across the major professional U.S. sports leagues. NBA, Major League Baseball, Hockey, Major League Soccer have all been shut down due to COVID-19 since March. Uh, Newsom said he doubts fans will be able to attend sports events until the COVID-19 vaccine or substantial herd immunity has been achieved. Um, But it's, you know, he said that sports in the state could return in early June without spectators, provided progress continues to be made in checking the advance of the coronavirus. California's numbers are low. Low, 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 low. Um, and so it's like statewide. That's a big ass state. Oh yes, I mean it's just massive. Uh, I I think you're probably right. Like they are feeling pressure from everywhere, and I, I do think that colleges, soccer, hockey, baseball, everybody was kind of giving them pressure. But like but baseball, only, we don't even know if we're coming back. I mean, it, that's right. Baseball and basketball, we don't know if they're going to finish. If, and if basketball does it, I really don't think they're traveling. I think they're going to do the bubble thing for the playoffs, and that's yeah. it. So, um, um, it's just one of those things where, uh, they need to, um, figure that out. That's not going to help the local States, but football, football, football's the moneymaker. And I'm going to tell you this, he says no fans. If every other state, um, has fans, fans, they're going to end up having fans. They're going to have to figure that out because once again, how do you tell your team you don't have home field advantage anymore? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's insane. It's, it's, it's crazy to think about. Uh, Lane Stapp Gaming said, New York and California may have a say to, uh, to have NFLs back, but Roger Goodell would say, no, not on my watch. It wouldn't happen. But I think the NFL is still going to go on with or without fans. That's my opinion. Yes, 100%. 100%. Um, <laughs> uh, Jose said, FanDuel has uh, NFL point spreads already for week one and two. Yeah, uh, basically every oh, we, book. We talked about this yeah. a couple of weeks ago. Every last week it. when we talked about the uh, – um, um, the preseason schedule coming out. Oh, Man, yeah. I don't think the NFL is slowing down for anybody. No, I I think you're right. I think the NFL stops for nobody. Like, no, they I are think going they're to going through this thing, and they're going to take their chances with people getting sick and spreading it. And they're going to, I guarantee you, back of their ticket somewhere is going to say on there, "You forbid your rights to sue us if you come here and you get sick or whatever." That it's it's going to be the same language. That's if you get knocked out by a foul ball, and then on us. You break your nose, it's on you. You're here, but you're on risk. Yeah, 100%. I mean, they'll just, they'll put the waiver on the uh, on the tickets. Like, that's People the saying, well, they're going to, they'll sell a third of the, man, I, I don't know if they're even going to do that. I don't know if they're going to do that. Well, in the NFL, you don't have to. open those gates and say, if you want to come, come on. Yeah, no, 100%. McKinnon said, I can't remember who it was, and this plays back into what I was saying with the universities and whatnot, because, I mean, there's a ton of, of universities in California, in New York, et cetera. Uh, so I can't remember who it was I was watching yesterday, but they brought up the rumor that all the Pac-12 ADs apparently got together and agreed if California, Washington, and or Oregon don't allow their teams to play in-state, they could go play their quote-unquote home games in other states within the conference. 
Uh, not that they had uh, as big an impact as the NFL, but it could have been a proving point to California and New York. Like, yeah. hey, you got to do something. We have to have a season. We're, Otherwise, we're, we're going go, under. We're going to do something without you. And and it's, you know, I'm going to tell you, it, it's just basically the college people don't really, well, I guess the individual, the fans would, the boosters would for these schools, they would do the same thing that the NFL does. We're going to hold our money over you. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, slave Driver said uh, just on YouTube, just let everything go back to normal and let it all play out. Let everyone get it. Uh and may the strongest survive. Yeah, I mean it. But God, and I can't speak to the science yeah. behind it. I can't speak to you know. Let's just open it. That's all above my pay grade. I'm just going to tell you this. I think these athletes can go back to work, and yeah. I think they can go play football, and they can play baseball, and they can play basketball. And if you're afraid to play and you don't want to do it anymore, nobody's forcing you to. Like this isn't the old Soviet Union where all of our athletes are really in the military and they just follow orders. No. Yeah. No, 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 it's not like you, that. You don't have to play. Blake Snell, you don't want to play. You don't feel safe. Stay home. That's yeah, okay. you don't have that's to. All right. And here's the thing. No one's going to mock you. No one's going to make fun of you. We're going to move on without you, and that's okay. Yeah, if if we have a season, you can play or you don't play. You don't, um, yeah, that's and, right. And if you don't play, you don't get paid. You're not going to get paid, and, and you're not going to get a year accrued on your contract. Yeah, 100%. Uh, Michael said Newsom has to backtrack on something he said. Shocker. Yeah. yeah, but, we, but we've and made I, our when I kept saying that, that though, I kept bringing that up that it doesn't matter. All these governors at some point in time got into a dick measuring contest and said, "Well, I'm going to extend mine till October," and then the next one's like, "Well, I'm going to extend mine to 2021," and then the, and we just keep pushing it back. And really, all they're doing is just trying to out, you know, show people that they care about their people more. So I don't really know what they were proving, but. But they were just measuring dicks, and all they had to do was is they get either any pushback or the science comes back to where it's safe to open up or whatever. They just undo everything that they did. Yeah. Now, I read a really interesting article about the uh, uh, the analysis and whatnot, all these statistical things that they came up with uh, that were basically wrong. They used one company, and the coding was wrong, and and everybody based everything off of this one model. and. Well, the what do you one do? thing that's so, hard for me to understand is these are my people, okay? People in Italy were dying in droves. Yeah. And I know that that country is built different than our country. But I can't understand how one country made up of a lot of different people from all different ages, this thing looked like the plague. I mean, oh, people yeah. were putting their dead on the street. Yeah. Because they couldn't keep them in the house, but the you know the burial areas and the funeral homes, all stuff were so backed up. It was just like you just put grandma out on the curb, and I don't and, know how to explain that. We saw that happen. I don't think every politician is wrong for when they all freaked out and we shut this thing down. Because I don't know how the hell I, you should react when you. But see I, but that. I don't know that you need to put a time limit on on these things. Sure. Like it, you can do why, a time limit stay, of a month at a time. Yeah. Well, and then the other thing that we've got to figure out is, is we all came out and we told everybody to lock down and our country for the most part complied. Yeah. We all said we will follow orders when given orders that are reasonable. And we all agreed this was reasonable because we wanted to flatten the curve. Yeah. And then now these people are changing their tunes and they're saying, nope, we're not releasing this until we have a cure or a vaccine. And everybody said, hold on wasn't our agreement. Our agreement was reasonable. You're changing the agreement to something unreasonable. We ain't playing that game. Uh, Dave, nope. Dave Portnoy from uh, Barstool Sports talked about this last week, right? And and it was an incredible video. Like, in, And it explained it in layman's terms very simply. Uh, you said we were working to flatten the curve. But now you're saying we're working to find a cure. Well, what if we don't ever find a cure? Like that's, that's, right. that's where it becomes an issue. We still don't have a cure for, he, he brought up these points. We still don't have a cure for AIDS. We don't have a cure. We, even though we have a vaccine for the flu, we don't have a cure for the flu. We don't have a cure for cancer. It, we still don't have cures for things. We still operate under normal processes. Yeah. Okay. We might not ever go back to shaking hands again. That's fine. All right. That's okay. But like, we do need to be able to Things in our work. life might change, but we still have to go back to normal life at some point. Yeah, I mean, there's a, we're talking almost 39 million people unemployed right now. That is 
unreasonable and ridiculous. Like it's just it, the, well, the country cannot operate. Then you have a whole like different that. group of people. Of I mean, what are you working for? At yeah. some point in time, not not because, and I'm not getting into the political aspect of unemployment's paying more than some of these essential jobs. Okay, yeah. that's a different argument altogether. But when you're working, what are you working for? Because I know what I work for. I I work hard all year. A, co- a couple of times a year so I can leave. I live in a place that I don't really enjoy living, okay? Olive Branch, Mississippi is cheap, all right? It's a very good cost of living. I live in a, you know. It's what, a nice community. The 13th largest it's, city yeah. in the country. It's not a bad community, but there's not a lot to do around the Memphis area. No, okay? no, but, but not, not for us. Like, we want football games. We want uh, theme parks. We want, you know, we want fun there, there's things just not. It's not Chicago, all right. Agreed. It's not New York. It's not LA. It's not Vegas. It's not, it's not a big city where you have a, a Atlanta, DC. It's not those places. All right. Yeah. So I work really hard. So when I get a break, I can leave this place. Yeah. Well, right now I have worked, I've worked really hard and I've saved up and I've got money sitting aside, ready to burn right now. And I'm waiting on Myrtle beach to open up. I'm waiting on, I'm waiting on Vegas to open up and Gatlinburg to open up and, 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 you know, Disney world and these places to open back up. And and some of them are open, but it, you ain't going right now because well, there's no reason. Open. Hang on. Don't, don't tell me Gatlinburg or the restaurants open. Okay. Is the theme park open? No. Is the, the, is the aquarium open? No. Oh, so I can go walk the trail, the same trail every day and eat pancakes at the same place every day. Like at some point in time, that's nice. The water park's not open. My kids ain't gonna want to do that. This isn't a vacation. No, no, absolutely not. Absolutely, we already not. walk this damn neighborhood every day. I can't go just somewhere else and just walk. <laughs> I gotta take these kids to do something. Let me uh, They're driving let, me crazy. Let me dra- Let me let me jump in with the uh, uh, YouTube comments here. Uh, let's see. Lane Stapp Gaming said, "Might as well let Alabama and Clemson fight it out for the national title because it's mostly every year those two in the championship anyway." Uh, no, that's well, not what we year. want. I want a I want a football season, and Alabama wasn't anywhere close to it last year. Uh, oh. So there are people that are going to have something to say. Ohio State, LSU, Georgia, et cetera. Like, you're going to have teams in there that uh, that are going to have something to say about it. Um, let's see. How is tennis not back, but MMA is back? Uh, you got different people running the sport. If, if tennis had somebody like Dana White operating it, tennis would have been back a month ago. I've got, I've got an explanation for that because one of the podcasts to follow is produced by a guy who's really, really high up with the tennis. All right, stuff. go ahead and tell me. And, and he, tennis is not like golf or MMA where like 80% of the golfers live in Florida. So like that, those people are all across the the world That's and the country. Point. Yeah. And so in order to play travel has to be open. That's a good point. That's a good point. Travel has to be, and tennis players, they're not private, like enough to have a tournament are not private jetters. Okay. These guys are flying Southwest like you and I, That's they it. just are. True. Oh yeah. Because they, well, they don't make enough money. I mean, they, they, they don't make enough money. You've got the top tier that, that are private jetters, and then everybody else is is Southwest coach. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 let's see. Ben said this conversation happens on the show every day. Yeah, here lately it kind of has been. But, I mean, it, it it's the biggest topic in the world. Like, what a, you know. well, but we got new information now, which is the two states that we were kind of trying to plan everything around Changed finally everything. buckled and caved and said, yeah. we – Cannot function unless we join everybody else or we're going to be left behind. Damien said the players should get paid whether they do or don't want to play. They shouldn't be punished for not wanting to risk their lives just for entertainment. Um, but what do they do for a living? They they play entertainment, uh, entertainment right? for They're a living. in the entertainment business for a living? Uh, yeah, I don't agree with that at all. Yeah, that's, a wrong, that's, just, that's just wrong. That's patently wrong. Let's see. Lane Stapp Gaming said, I live in Jackson, Mississippi, and I want everything open. At least let places like important places be open. Uh, let's see. Matt Miller said DC is a cesspool. I was super disappointed visiting. Uh, it depends on where you go. Like I love DC, man. I, I went to okay. DC and I, I enjoyed it. So, but I've it, never it been, on, but it's on my it's on my list of places to take my kids as soon as they get big enough. Yeah, it, it depends on what you do. Like, I, you know, well, it depends on what you like. Everybody yeah. likes different things. Exactly. McKinnon said, if you got that money burning hole in your pocket, Chris, go get some guns, my man. Good no, because <laughs> then I can't t- listen. Because then I've got guns. But shit opens up, and my kids are like, Dad, where are we going to go? And I'll be like, well, you see this new gun I got? Yeah. Yeah, that's where we were supposed to go on vacation. Natalie jumps in said, at least your parks are open. Our only option is to walk the roads that have no sidewalks. She lives in Costa Rica. so Is Costa Rica still closed down that much? I should know that. My uncle lives down there, but we hadn't talked I, about it. Apparently so. Um, 
Uh, and see, honestly, it depends on what city, depending upon what parks, parks. are open and what are not. Like, it, I, I we're know, having to I walk the road. Tennessee too. opened their national parks and their yeah. state parks. So, like, if you were to go to the the Pigeon Forge, Sevierville area, um, Gallenberg area, all those all those national parks are open. Uh, let's see. Lane Stapp Gaming said, "Do you think Alabama will fall after Nick Saban retires? Will they still have? Uh, will they still be dominant with a new coach? It, look, we'll get to that eventually. Like, that's a super long, detailed thing." Uh, Damien said, uh, why the hell should they risk their lives? They're not risking their lives. Like, they're going to have testing and whatnot in place. Like, it, they're, they're not just going to ask them to go out and whatever. Like, it's it's not like that. Listen, um, I'm not saying this thing isn't serious. We have taken this thing very serious the entire time, okay? Yeah. But um, but it's not a death sentence. All right, we need, to, we need to stop acting like they're risking their lives. It's not a death sentence. Agreed. Natalie said, if yes. they get it, if any of these players get it, which many of them have in many sports – all right, already had it. They didn't die, and most of them didn't even really get sick. But they've got the money for the healthcare. We worry about our country because we worry about the poorest people in our country having ample healthcare. The richest people in our country aren't dying from this thing there you because go. they don't die from anything because they got the money to get the proper healthcare. Natalie said, "Yes, Costa Rica is totally closed." Um, she said, "Play parks and public parks." Um, wow, that's crazy. That's- Beaches too. I, I would I would assume so. Uh, Lane Step Gaming said, just sub, by the way. We appreciate that, obviously. Uh, share the show out. Tell your buddies about it, of course. Uh, another one said, just think of cops and firefighters thought the same way. Uh, yeah, we'd be in a whole mess of trouble. Because they, they don't, I mean, when they started this, they didn't have any protection. Like, nothing. Nope. They, they didn't have daily testing and all that, which MLB and all these places are going to We're have. We're asking them to go play a game. And if yeah. they don't play the game, then that's fine. And if they want to retire, that's okay, too. Yeah, but I tell but you they this. they don't get if, paid if, to sit home. If cops don't work, they don't get paid either. Like, just because you signed a contract doesn't mean that you cannot work. Like, that's yeah. insane. Matt Miller said, people under 30 have a better chance of being murdered. No joke. Check the CDC stats. Yeah, I mean, they got a better chance of being struck by lightning than dying from, from this disease. That's not that we're not taking it seriously. It's not that I want everybody to get it. And it's not that, yeah, yeah, I'm just saying that going and playing a game isn't going to change anything. And my other thought is, is I'm out in the world every day. I'm going to tell you, Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, Kroger around here, they are packed asshole to elbow, people to people. And they have been ever since this thing started. Yes, 100%. I just want to know how shopping there is bad or, or, or perfectly acceptable, but going and sitting next to that same asshole I was in line with at Kroger in a ball game is is wrong. Agree. I just don't because and listen, you're talking to somebody who doesn't know any of the science. I don't understand how this stuff works, but that doesn't make sense to me. No, and it shouldn't. I mean it absolutely should not. I don't know how to I don't know how to make two and two out of that. Let's uh let's move off of such a serious topic.